House Republicans have opened their first formal hearing to make the case that they have grounds to impeach President Biden. Meanwhile, the possible government shutdown is Sunday at midnight. As Fox's Caroline Shively tells us, Democrats are using the impending fiscal disaster to question Republicans' priorities. This is complete and total hypocrisy this morning. Today, we're going to bring the facts. House Today, Republicans are trying to show what they say are links to the president and his son's businesses in their impeachment inquiry. So far, evidence has come in the form of testimony from outside experts in tax law, criminal investigations, and constitutional legal theory. No witness with information about the Biden's business dealings have testified. The problem is when you sling mud, you got to have mud. And they just don't have anything, Mr. Chairman. One of the many questions raised Thursday is if a benefit to the Biden family is a benefit to the president himself, therefore constituting a bribe. Money going to family members is in fact a benefit, but this idea that you can have millions going to a politician's family and that's not a benefit, um, I think is pretty fallacious. Democrats who say the investigation is a political ploy are using the impending government shutdown to make a political point of their own with a countdown clock they brought. All right, so so let's get it straight. We're 62 hours away from shutting down the government of the United States of America, and Republicans are launching an impeachment drive based on a long debunked and discredited lie. And even though he wasn't in the hearing, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy was aware of that ticking clock, too. I don't think anybody's stronger. I don't think the country's better if you have a shutdown. And I think the difference here is I've had conversation with Democrat senators, even as early as today, who want to do something. The Senate has set up a vote on the bipartisan bill to keep government open, but it will likely be after the deadline. In Washington, Caroline Shively, Fox 26 News.